Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I am here today with a video for Not Too Shabby's Tutti Fruity Hop and Giveaway. I hope you'll stick around, see what's in their newest box of the month, see what I'm going to create, and find out how you can win a $25 gift certificate to the online store. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. On the first of each month, Not Too Shabby releases their newest box of the month and we celebrate it with a little hop and giveaway. This month's theme is Tutti Frutti, and it is so full of goodness I could barely fit it on my desktop here. This month's box has lemon and strawberry themed goodies. You get two 6x6 paper pads, three 4x6 stamp sets, and two packages of coordinating ephemera. For my video today, I'm going to be focusing on the lemon themed goodies, but I'm sure as you hop along, you're going to see the strawberry stamp sets, pattern paper, and ephemera used as well. After hopping along today, I'm pretty sure that you're going to want to get your hands on one of these boxes. If you do, I have a link in the description box below. Now you can just get this single box or you can subscribe monthly and not only are you guaranteed a box, but you're going to save 5%. So make sure again, check out that link below. And while you're there, check out the other goodies that Not Too Shabby has in store. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is part of a giveaway. So as I get into the process, not only will I tell you about other products and tools that I use, but I'm gonna tell you how you can enter to win. If I do leave you with any questions, as always, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Before I get started on the process, I did want to give you a little bit better look at the lemon themed goodies from the kit. You get all of that ephemera and then the stamp set. It has realistic looking images paired with punny sentiments. The coordinating paper pad has lots of yellows and blues together. You get some lemon themed pages. There are sunflowers, butterflies, coordinating geometric patterns. It is chock full of great pages and you get two of each design for 24 pages total. My card today was inspired by and will feature these two pieces of ephemera. I'll be using blue inks to match the blue on the lemon leaf. And then for the main stamped image, I'm going to be using the little leafy branch with lemons because the outfit on my little ephemera lady there has these on it. I'm going to start today's card by making my own background pattern paper. I pre-cut a piece of white cardstock to four and a quarter by five and a half, and because I'm going to be stamping the lemons off the edge of the cardstock, I put a little adhesive on the back, took off most of the tack with my fingers, and then I lined it up with the grid of my Misty so there was room all the way around. I got the lemon set up in the lower right hand corner and I will be inking each image up and stamping it twice just to get a nice solid blue. Now between each stamp I did bring in my cloth and clean off my stamp well and then I always keep a piece of clear cardstock underneath the mouse pad on my Misty and if you don't have clear cardstock you can use acetate packaging just anything that you can see through but that you can line up the next stamp without possibly getting any leftover ink onto your cardstock. For the next image, I rotated the stamp about a quarter turn, and then after I picked it up with the door of my Misty, I could remove that clear cardstock and then ink it up and stamp it twice, just like the previous one. I kept up this same process, cleaning, putting down the clear cardstock, rotating the stamp, and then stamping it until the entire card front was full. 
Now, while I'm working on that, I thought I would tell you all about the hop so you can find out how you can get entered to win that $25 gift certificate. I am just one of a handful of artists who will be sharing creations today using the new box of the month. To get entered into the giveaway, you'll want to visit each of the videos, watch it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and then when you've hopped through all of the videos, you are going to fill out the raffle copter. That link will be in the description box of each stop along the hop. Now to find all of the videos, you can click on the hashtag in the title, which is hashtag N2S2DFruity. Now, if that isn't working, at the top of my description box, I do have a link to the next person on the hop. Now, if you get kind of lost along the way, you can always come back here and I do have everybody else linked just a little bit further down in that description box. You will have until midnight on May 7th to hop along, leave those comments, and enter the raffle copter, and the lucky winner will be announced shortly thereafter on the Not Too Shabby channel. Good luck! While I was admiring my finished stamped piece, I noticed a huge smudge right in the middle of it. But since I know this happens to all of us, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it work. To help soften that smudge a little bit, I decided to use some vellum and I wanted to add a pop of color and make a frame to hold that. So I brought in a frame die that I had in my stash and I cut that out of a blueberry cardstock. Next I brought in my little paper trimmer and I measured the outside of the frame which ended up being three and a quarter by four and a half. So using that same trimmer, I cut down my scrap of vellum to just slightly smaller than those dimensions. To adhere this to the back of the vellum, I got out my art glitter glue in my fine tip bottle and I just put a line on the back of the frame. Then I set the vellum in place, making sure none was peeking out of the sides, and I pressed that glue nice and hard and I let it set for a few minutes. Then when that was dry, using the same glue, I put another line on the back and I got this piece centered onto our stamped piece with that smudge. Now this does pretty much lighten it, but we are going to strategically place that ephemera to go ahead and cover it up completely. Once I knew where I wanted the lemon to go, I adhered that down and now we're going to stamp our sentiment onto it. So I brought in my mini Misty for this and again we're going to be using the blueberry ink and I decided to go with You're the Zest for the sentiment. I placed the stamp onto the lemon where I thought it would look good and then after I picked it up with the door of my Misty, I took some time to make sure that it was straight across using the grid on the door. Once I was pleased with the placement, I inked it up with that blueberry ink and stamped it twice. I've been trying to get in the habit lately of decorating the inside of my cards too, so using the same lemon branch, I did a stamp off in the lower right hand corner. Let me know in the comment section below if you decorate the inside of your cards as well. Now all of the pieces were ready so I put the card together. The stamped piece got adhered flat down to the card base and then I added some foam tape to the back of the second piece of ephemera and popped this up in the corner. To finish it I brought in some bright yellow enamel dots from my stash and I added three to the front of the card. And here are some close up looks at the finished piece. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I put together this cute, quick, and easy card using goodies from the latest Not Too Shabby box of the month. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. And now don't forget to visit the next person on the hop by either using the hashtag in the title or the link at the top of the description box. Until my next video, happy hopping, good luck in that giveaway, and I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. 
I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.